Alrighty, hello everyone, welcome to another video. And in this video, you're gonna hear my two cents about the movie Captain Marvel. These are my two cents. Actually, this is a quarter, so it's not a cent. It's not even two cents. It's 25 cents. Actually, this is European money. It has the Queen's face on it. I don't know how I got this. Anyways, before we begin, I just have uh, an announcement to make. Uh, my friend and I, we decided to do a sub battle, so forget about uh, PewDiePie versus T-Series. This is all about Dark Steps versus Tanner, this channel. So yeah, my friend, he does gaming videos, and I do these types of videos. So I'm trying to get more subs than him, but if you subscribe to him, then that's great, because we're both trying to help each other out, basically, with this. Um, anyway, so yeah, basically, subscribe to me. Alright, so about the movie. Uh, let's see, I'll just start with my expectations. So my expectations, I thought this would just be a normal, average Marvel movie. I thought it'd be okay. Kind of just like a meh movie. Like, you know, whatever, that'd be good. Not too good. Nothing special. And, basically, I was right. Um, there was a lot of, con not controversy, there was a lot of uh, debate. Some people wanted this movie to succeed, other people wanted this movie to fail. Uh, some people thought this movie would be terrible, other people thought this movie would be wonderful. I was just in the middle. I was, you know, I didn't really follow any movie politics on this. I just thought, hey, it's a Marvel movie. It should be good, right? And it, it was good. Not great. It was good. Let's go into more detail now. Um, so spoilers coming up now. So if you haven't seen the movie, go watch it and then come back. All right, you have been warned. Okay, first, just this is just a heads up. Um, this is my first movie review. Actually, I've done lots of movie reviews in the past, but they all suck, so let's just forget about them. And let's pretend this is the first one, and hopefully it won't be terrible. Okay, so let's start with the plot. Um, it starts on an alien planet, and it starts with all these characters that we don't really know, and we never really get to know them. I guess they're Captain Marvel's team or whatever, but we don't really talk about them very much, and we get into like a fight scene at the beginning, but there's no really emotion, there's no emotional stakes or anything because we just barely met these people. And yeah, I mean, it's just a beginning fight scene. Um, so th those are my thoughts on the beginning. Uh, the beginning was really like, um, I don't know, it was hard to see because everything was like really dusty, I guess, around like a dusty planet. So I don't know, you couldn't really tell what was going on. Um, but then as the plot progresses, we get to Earth and that's where things actually, you know, start to kick into gear. And basically, Captain Marvel lands on Earth, but it takes place in the 90s. So there's all this 90s nostalgia and things like that. And of course, I was not born in the 90s. Um, I was born in the 2000s, so I, the nostalgia made sense to me. I just couldn't feel that nostalgic feeling. But if you were born in the 90s or you remember the 90s, then I'm sure you'll like that. That's a good factor. Um, so if you want to feel nostalgic for the 90s, you should watch this movie. There's lots of 90s nostalgia. Also, I didn't even know what a pager was until I saw this movie, so, yeah, I got educated. Okay, one thing about the plot that bugged me was when Captain Marvel uh, changed teams. So the bad guys in this movie, they're the Skrulls, and they're these green aliens, and they can uh, change their shape so they can look like basically anything, I guess. Um, and then there's the Kree, and they're like, they're the good guys, and they're fighting the Skrulls. Um, but then, so up to the first half we think that the Kree are the good guys and the Skrulls are bad. But then, in the middle of the movie, or more towards the end of the movie, we got this big reveal that uh, the Skrulls are actually good. But it's kind of a lousy reveal. Really just like a Skrull comes up to Captain Marvel and he's like, We're the good guys, so be on our team. And Captain Marvel's like, Okay, I'll be on your team now. That's not how war works, uh, Captain Marvel. That's not how war works, okay? Uh, that'd be like if a stormtrooper went up to Luke Skywalker and said, hey Luke, we're the good guys now, and then Luke's just like, okay, and he joins the Empire. Like, it, no, it doesn't really make sense. Um, but I guess that happened, and it was kind of hard to believe that the Skrulls were the, the good guys from then on, because I was I believe that they were the bad guys, and now I'm supposed to believe that they're, they're good guys. And plus, they're pretty ugly, too. The Skrulls are ugly, so it's, you know, Ugly things are kind of hard to root for. 
And then I guess we get to the end of the movie and Captain Marvel just like destroys an entire ship in 30 seconds. Um, there's a bunch of CGI destruction. All Marvel movies have CGI endings, I guess. The third acts of Marvel movies are always forgettable and a lot of explosions take place, so that happened in this movie. Um, and there was the bad guy from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. He was in it. He was younger. He's that blue guy. He was in it and yeah, Captain Marvel just destroyed a bunch of ships. So yeah, uh, the ending was pretty rushed in a way. It was just a big CGI spectacle. It took place in 45 seconds. So yeah, th th there was that. Anyways, let's, let's move on to characters now. Um, so, I guess the main character is Captain Marvel. And Captain Marvel was okay. She was kind of boring. Like, I don't know. She was okay. Uh, her backstory was interesting. Yeah, it's a good superhero. It'll be interesting to see what she does um, in Endgame. Um, yeah, I guess her powers are just like shoot lasers from her hands or something. And then let's move on to Nick Fury. And Nick Fury, played by Samuel Jackson, was probably my favorite part of the movie because he was just cool. He was fun. The Nick Fury we see in Captain Marvel is a lot different than the Nick Fury we see in Avengers because he's a lot younger and he's not the top guy in S.H.I.E.L.D. He's not the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. so he's basically just a normal agent and him and uh, Coulson were buddies I guess. So yeah, there's some cool scenes with uh, Nick Fury. Um, his eye got beat up twice in that movie so first he um, his eye got a scratch from a car crash and then <clears throat> spoilers, I already said that, but spoilers, a cat scratches his eye, and that's how he gets his eye patch. So yeah, his eye patch, it was just from a cat scratching him. Okay, now let's talk about the cat, actually. So the cat's name is Goose, and it legit came out of nowhere. Um, it was never in the movie until it just, like, was just in the scene, and it kind of stayed throughout the movie. Like, they're just walking down the hallway, and there was a cat. And that cat turns out to be an alien. A super random. It was a cute cat. Um, but it was a random cat. Let's talk about the scrolls. I guess the scrolls can be considered their own character, and the scrolls were um they were cool. They were they were really cool to see. You know, they can change it into people. One of them turned into a grandma, and that was funny. Um the scrolls are kind of scary, but at the same time they make them comical. Like they have these like funny, like slightly southern voices, and it just sounds really weird. Um, yeah, sometimes they make them scary, then like the other half of the time they're just like comedic. So I don't know. I feel like they could have just like either made them funny or made them scary. I would have preferred them to be scary, but whatever. Uh, they were still really cool. Um, and then at the end of the movie, there there's always the end credit scene. It's, it's a Marvel movie, uh, so the end credit scene was actually really cool. It was actually the mid credit scene, um, but it actually jumped right into uh, Avengers Endgame, and it showed how the Avengers met um, Captain Marvel. So that was really cool, and it got me hyped for Endgame. Overall, in conclusion, uh, Captain Marvel is a decent movie. If you haven't seen it yet, if you want to, you should go see it, I guess. Um, really, it, its main purpose is just to get people hyped for Endgame, I think. Um, yeah, Captain Marvel will be in Endgame, so it'll be interesting to see what she does. It'll be fun to see her interact with the, uh, the Avengers and all that. Um, but her origin movie, this Captain Marvel movie, was it was decent. That's really all I can say about it. Also, just want to note, they never really call her right Captain Marvel in that movie. Like, Captain Marvel is only said once, and it's like at the very end. Her name really isn't Captain Marvel in this movie. Anyways, I probably wasted all your time with all this movie reviewing, but I'm glad um, you watched it, and if you liked it, you know, give it a like, and things like that. Hopefully, if I do enough of these movie reviews, I'll get better at them, but right now, I'm still terrible at them, so I apologize for that, but I will get better. So yeah, right now, this, is, this has been my movie review, and um, let me know in the comments what you thought of this movie. Remember to subscribe, so I can win the sub war with um, Dark Steps. Subscribe to me, and that's it. Movie review. Okay, so yeah, I just picked up this. I thought this was a quarter, but it turns out it has the picture of the queen's face on it. Can you see that?
This is like from England or something. I guess I'm British now, so. God save the queen.